Hello, I want to show you how to use the input function to enter numbers and to ensure that they are numbers and not break if they aren't. Let me show you what I mean. I put a 5 in here and that works fine. Uh, what if I want to do something like print age times 2? What would I expect to see here if I enter a 5? Probably 10. But instead, what comes out is 55. That's interesting. Well, what if I run this here and I say ABC? I get ABC, ABC. That's because input returns strings. And when you multiply a string by 2 or 3, it replicates the string rather than doing arithmetic on it. So this is really a string, and I'm just going to rename this variable to make it clear that we're dealing with a string here. And what I want to do is convert this string to an integer. So I say age gets int age string. And this will attempt to convert a number that's inside of age string into an integer and then store it in age. Let's run this. And if we enter an integer, that works fine. And then we could do um, we could do this. And now we get 10 instead of 55. What happens if we enter something that's not a number, though? The program breaks. So we have to have a way to deal with this error here, this value error. So we need to learn about handling exceptions. An exception is a way that Python, a Python program indicates that something has not gone the way that is expected. Uh, an exceptional circumstance has occurred. And we can use something called try. So let's do that. We'll say try this. And if there's an exception of the type value error, then we can do something like display a message. Let's run. What is your age? We say x and age. All right. Let's move this up. What is your age? X. And it says, please enter a number. So the program didn't break anymore. Um, but we need to have a way where it repeats the, uh, the input um, until the person running it, the user, enters a number. So this means we have to have some kind of a loop. So let's make a loop. We can say something like um, OK equals false, which means that we have not yet received an OK value. And then we say while not OK, and we'll have our loop. And if the int function works, then we're going to say OK is true. And that will make the loop stop. Otherwise, it'll, it'll continue. Let's see what we have here. Say x. Please enter a number. What is your age? x, x. You see the loop just continues until we enter a valid value. So let's put a valid value in now, an, an integer, something that can be converted to an integer. 5. And uh, that this worked. So OK got set to true, which made the loop stop. And then we printed the value of the number times 2. That's real nice, this loop that has a try, accept statement. And we might need to use it for other purposes. We might need to ask a bunch of questions, not just age. So why don't we move that into a function instead? So let me paste in some code that's uh, similar to that. Now I've got this in a function called get numeric, and you give it your prompt, and then it does what we had before, except that it doesn't need the OK variable, because when, when things work, it simply returns, and the return breaks out of the loop. So we're returning from the function, 
and that breaks out of this loop. If we didn't return, then the loop would continue. Now to use this, we just say something like this, and then I'll try this again. Let's see how this goes. Seems to be working. And there we go. So here's an example of creating a method whose job it is to display a prompt and without failing, attempt to convert the response into an integer. And if, uh, if it can't be converted, then it, the loop repeats and it goes on until it can successfully convert the response to an integer and then it returns the integer. Here's where you can find the source code on github.com slash DC Brichetti slash Python hyphen lessons. And if you go uh, into the simple directory here, source code, you'll find input num. And this is the code that we've just discussed.